our friends, we're going to be drawing a sea turtle. Yeah, we're going to draw a realistic sea turtle because we've already drawn a cartoon one with Hadley. Yes. It was way fun. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to check that one out. Yeah. And we also want to mention before we start the lesson, what should we ask them to do? To subscribe. Yeah, so sure, subscribe. So sure, subscribe. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching this on our website, be sure to check out our art club membership. And you can see that at artforkidshub.com slash subscribe. All right, dude, you ready to draw? Yeah. All right, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You have a marker and some paper. And if we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, remember, you can always pause the video. All right, dude, let's start. How old are you? 11. 11. Yeah, so this lesson is a little more for our older art friends. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start by drawing our turtle shell, and we're looking down at the turtle. So we're looking at the top of the turtle. We're going to draw this, the shape of the shell. We're going to draw a curve like this. It's kind of a crazy curve. You know what? I'm just going to keep on going. And we're going to draw the other side. That way you can see what we're trying to draw. So this is the shape. It's kind of an oval, but it has a little point, a rounded point down at the bottom. Good job. And it's okay if it's a little lopsided or the lines are a little wobbly. Yeah. Because it's nature. Yes. And we want our turtle shell to look natural. Okay, so now we're going to connect here. Watch this. We're going to come out of this line and we're going to go straight across and then curve back in. See how it's a little flat yeah. at the top? This is where his head is going to come out of. Good. You did it. There's our turtle shell. Okay, now let's draw our turtle head. So we're going to draw two lines. Let's draw them right here. It's coming right out, of, right out of the shell. That's his neck. Okay, now we're going to draw an upside down U that has a little point at the top. <laughs> Good. All right. Now we're going to draw his fins. So let's draw one coming out of the right side. And I'm going to draw it coming diagonal. And then we're going to curve down. They have these big flippers for, for swimming. Okay. Now right here at the end, let's do another curve. Okay. And then this line is going to be straight. And it comes right back to his elbow. Good. And then right at the end, let's curve it in. Okay. And then we're going to connect it back to a shell. That's a cool little fin, dude. I yeah. like it. Okay. Now we're going to repeat those same steps over here on the, on the left side. So we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out. Then it's going to curve around and down. Then right at the end, we're going to curve again. And then a straight line that comes back into the elbow. Good job. And then right at the end, let's curve it again. And then we're going to connect it into the shell. There's his little flippers. It looks awesome. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's add a few more wrinkles because they have leathery skin. And so where his flippers bend, it creates wrinkles. Good. Okay, now let's draw his little flippers on the back. So we're going to draw an S line that comes out. We're going to curve one way and then back the other way with that little S line. And then let's repeat that on the other side also. Good. Now let's draw the outside of his flipper or his little fins. So we're going to come out. It's another S line. And we are going really fast, aren't we? Yeah. So if we go too fast, you guys can always pause it and catch up and then start the video again. Okay, now let's draw just a small little tail sticking out the bottom. Good. Okay, now we need to draw the details. So let's draw his little eyes up here on his head. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw the shapes or the pattern that's on a shell. So let's draw, let's draw the outside first. We're going to draw a straight line right here at the top. And then we can draw kind of a wobbly line that comes around. We want it to look natural. It's going to come all the way around down here at the bottom and then keep going. This is the, for the little border that goes around his shell. Yeah, that looks really cool, dude. 
Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, now around the outside of this border, let's add the little part lines or little separating lines. It kind of looks like bricks. Yeah. Going around the outside of his shell. Go all the way around. Oh, he's looking really cool. Next, we're going to draw the inside pattern. So let's draw two lines right in the middle of the shell. Good. Now on the left side, let's connect it with a sideways V. And then on the right side, do the same thing. Okay, now that's the center part. So now we're going to draw straight lines out from each side. Good. Now we're going to draw diagonal lines and we're going to draw shorter ones. We're not going to connect them all the way to the, to the edge. Okay, and then let's do the same thing down here. Next, let's start up here. We're going to draw another straight line. Good. Now we're going to connect these two lines by drawing a curve that comes out, connects to the two lines, and then back in. That's fun. Yeah, good job. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Connect the two lines and then back out. And then down here, let's do it a little different. Let's do a rainbow line first. Good. And then let's draw a curve that connects to that one line and then... Yeah, perfect. And we'll do the same thing on the outside. On the right side. All right, dude, we finished our turtles. Good job. Give me five. He looks awesome. Yeah. But he's going to look even cooler once we do what? Color him. Yeah, let's color him. So let's put our markers off to the side. We're going to use a couple colors. we got this like uh, yellow brown color. We have a light brown, dark brown, and also a light green. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now. Now we have the base colors for our turtle. We colored his body with the light green and then we also used this light yellow or this kind of brown yellow for his shell. Now we're switching to our medium brown or just regular brown. And we're gonna go around each of the shapes on his shell and we want it to be darker around the edge and then as it gets to the middle of the shape, get lighter. Just like this. So I did it on these two shapes and we're going to do that for the whole shell. Okay. So let's fast forward again. Alright, we finished the shells. They look really cool, don't they? Yeah. It looks a lot more realistic with that texture on there. Now I went back over it with my darker brown, but you don't have to. You can leave it off just like yours. It looks really cool. Now we're going to switch to our dark brown to add spots to his flippers and also to his head. So let's fast forward again. Yeah. All right, we did the spots. Now it looks really cool. It looks a lot more realistic, doesn't it? Yeah. Now when we did the spots, we tried to do big spots around the edge of his little fin down here. And then as you got into the middle of his fin, they get smaller and smaller. It almost looks like it's blending. And we did that up here too. We added big spots on the edge of his fin. And then on the inside, they're a lot smaller. We're going to do one last thing and we're going to take our, our dark brown and we're just going to add a little shading to the inside edge of his flipper, his little fin. So it's going to be dark right next to, right next to his shell and then dark on the edge. And we're using the side of our pencil, which makes it a little easier to press lighter, gives you a little more control. And then inside of each of those wrinkles, you can get a little darker too. Look at that. Now it looks more 3D, huh? Yeah. You did a great job. Now re let's repeat that same step over here on this flipper, also around his neck, and down here on his bottom fins. Okay. Jack, we finished our turtles, man. Give me another five. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now all of that extra coloring makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Yes. Does it still look cartoony when we when we did the marker? Mm -hmm. But once we added the colors and also the shading and the texture, it looks very realistic. It almost looks like it's gonna swim right off the page. Yes. <laughs> now you guys at home, remember you can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. 
because we went fast, especially during the coloring part. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your sea turtles. Yes, we did. We hope you had a lot of fun and we want to see how they turned out. So be sure to ask your parents or an adult to take a photo of your drawing and then email it to us. And what's our email address? Myar at rforkidsof.com. Yes, myar at rforkidsof.com. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.